Michael Wills was playing college hockey in Boston, but he was also battling depression and was suicidal. And as a result, he was cut from the team. That made things worse for this young man. His life was falling apart. He was partying. But this story does have a happy ending. Michael, welcome to 100 Huntley Street. Oh, thank you for having me. Now, before we get into your story, we've got some really cool paintings on the set here. And we're going to talk about them later. But you're only not only a jock, but you were also an artist. Yes, yes, I was. How was that in school growing up? You're the jock, but you're also the art guy. Um, it was it was different uh, uh, having those two worlds kind of collide together. Um, a lot of people looked at me differently, you know, whether I was an artist or a jock. You know, trying to fit in with the athletes, they they thought I was an artist. We're going to the art. Uh, Art uh, department, they thought I was a jock, so it was really hard uh, fitting in that way, but yeah. And you also had some learning disabilities, which also added to the pressure, right? Yeah, it was, it was tough uh, going through school, um, not, not being able to you know, read or write or, or do uh, math or science and, and all, the, all the core courses that everyone focuses on and uh, arts kind of kept me uh, in school and uh, had a great mentor that helped me uh, just express my feelings that way. So. Okay, we're going to talk about the art a little bit later because yeah. you're a terrific artist. Yeah, thank you. But let's go back. You're like the typical Canadian kid. Yeah. Guys like you and I yeah. love playing hockey. Yeah. Is that something that you did right off the bat? Yeah, um, growing up, uh, every you know little guy wanted to play in the NHL and that was my dream. Um, playing since I was six years old and so I've played over 20 years of, of hockey, and I, that was my sole dream was to play in the NHL, and I wanted to pursue that passion to the fullest. Um, and just a couple things just happened, and, and God kind of wanted to shut that door and, 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 you know, wanted to move me into a different direction. But before he shut that door, you, though, did experience mm -hmm. uh, some success. You played mm -hmm. junior hockey in Ontario. Yeah. Uh, you played on the, uh, the national team, Canada's yeah. national team, yeah. under-18 team, yeah. got scouted, mm -hmm. and they wanted to come to, to Boston to play yeah. college hockey. Yeah, that was a great opportunity um, within junior and uh, playing for Team Canada. Uh, Merrimack was... Uh, offered me a scholarship and uh, when I went down there in Boston it, it was a great experience that way. Um, I was battling a you know a bit of a depression and suicidal not uh, getting into the games as much um, so you kinda your identity was solely in hockey and so when you weren't playing you really felt defeated. What, what I mean. led to the, to the depression do you think? Um, it, it was a combination of just you thought you were better than some players and, and you know, it's coaches, the politics in, in that as well. And then just finding your identity in hockey and not in Jesus. And, and I had, I thought I was, you know, okay at the time and, and, and battling through all that, those thoughts of feeling like you're worthless and you're not as good as, you know, as you thought you were and and just going through the motions in life and you weren't really yeah and you have to be pretty committed to it i mean yeah. so you're away from home uh you know from ontario down in massachusetts and yeah. you're you know playing college hockey it's not going well you want to be like bobby or paul yeah. coffee yeah. And a rushing defenseman yeah, exactly. and it just wasn't going very well no it's uh they wanted me to mold into a more defensive defenseman where i'm more creative on offensive and it just it just didn't work out and with with building with one system, I didn't uh, fit into that, and unfortunately, you know, I we we saw uh, differences, and we didn't see eye to eye, and unfortunately, I had to leave. So, and you got into the party scene, and mm -hmm. then you also lost uh, a lot, like five friends yeah. to death, either suicide yeah. or accidents. Yeah, um, my first year of college, uh, I lost my roommate. Uh, he got hit by a car, um, and then I lost another friend to ALS. And then during that summer, uh, my coach has said, you know, you got one more year, uh, figure it out, or uh, we won't have you back. And so within that summer, I lost three friends uh, due to, like, tragic accidents um, and suicide. And I really felt compelled to figure out my faith, uh, 
you know, one of my best friends died and when T got revived, he was, he was saying, oh, let me go, let me go. Um, you know, it's my time, it's, I see him. So that really shook me and trying to grieve through that process, I didn't really have time. So then I got back into my second year, I played my first seven games and, and didn't see uh, a shift after that. So I was battling with all that, again, like the fogginess of grieving with the depression and suicide and anger and trying to figure out who I was and, and what I want to do with my life. And was hockey the, the sole reason, you know, to am I going to be that person? And wow, so many things were uh, happening and you just felt under it. Uh, we come back with Michael, we're going to hear more of the story and also talk about uh, his passion for art when we come back. Yeah.